Good morning, uh, my name is Paul and I've come to share with you a thought for today uh, based on Psalm 8. I've recently been watching uh, some footage of the latest journey that NASA have sent some astronauts up to the International Space Station and given my nerdy maths past uh, I can't help but be blown away by some of the numbers that they've mentioned in the footage online. And two of the things that I've learnt uh, from this NASA footage is number one, uh, the galaxy that we're in, the Milky Way, is really big. Like I, like I knew that already, I knew it was big, but I don't think I realised how big it was. Uh, if you were to travel from one side of the galaxy all the way across to the other side of the galaxy, uh, it would take you 100,000 years traveling with Han and Chewie on the Millennium Falcon at the speed of light. 186,000 miles per second and it takes you 100,000 years to travel all the way across. That blows my mind. Uh, the other thing that I was unaware of is they said uh, they sent the Hubble telescope up in the 90s and when they sent it up uh, they said if uh, if you were to take a piece of a grain of sand and put it on the end of your finger and hold it up and have a look at the sky the bit of the sky that you can't see because it's blocked out by that one tiny little grain of sand that's how big is the bit that the Hubble telescope was looking at so like a tiny, tiny piece of the sky. And when they looked at that tiny piece of the sky, they took this picture. And the picture shows that in that tiny fraction of a piece of the sky, they could see over 10,000 galaxies. Just imagine how many galaxies there are all the way across the sky if just one tiny little grain of sand piece gives you 10,000 galaxies. And then I read Psalm 8. And in Psalm 8, David says, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them? Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Isn't it a humbling thought to consider when you read Psalm 8 today that the God who made this universe with his fingers is interested in you and in me. That he has written a book to help us to understand who he is and he has a listening ear waiting to hear from us today.